Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and I've got to make bread today and there's a few people who wanted to see that so let's get started. Okay, so here, yeah, my table's a mess. Here is a bowl with a bit of um, sunflower oil in it. We have a pat or two of butter, a tablespoon of salt, a turkey egg. You don't need a turkey egg. You can use any egg. Cup and a half of milk and some warm water with a tablespoon of sugar mixed in to which we're going to add some yeast. Now I have no idea how much this recipe is going to give. So if you go to my main Our Half Acre Homestead page, click on the magnifying glass below the, the title page where it says search channel and put in bread. I'm sure you'll find an, a, a printable recipe for it there. I'm winging it. And last of my organic flour from Costco. Now somebody always asks, so I'm going to tell you, there's a tablecloth on here because I don't like scraping dough off my table. You use a cloth, you can flick it off outside the, the excess flour and you can throw it in the washing machine. We do not have to wait for this yeast to bloom because it's instant. Uh, let me see, in goes our egg. We're going to beat our egg in. The last thing you add before flour is salt. Why? Because salt will kill the yeast if you don't get the flour in it fast enough. So, we're going to put our butter in here because it's warm and we want the butter to melt. Now, you don't need the butter and the milk. You really don't. You don't need the butter, the milk, or the egg even. But I find it makes a nicer finer crust. Now that butter, if it doesn't melt well, it will soften up and I'll knead it in. And in goes the salt. Immediately when you put the salt in, start putting in your flour. I only start off with a bowl because it's messy at this point. Well, that's looking beautiful. Let's get this off of here, put that back in here. Now, let's make a nice pile of flour in the middle of our cloth here. I like to disguise a little bit of extra fiber. So you can add all kinds of seeds in here and grains that you want, but today all I have is sesame seeds and some rolled oats. And what Papa never sees won't hurt him. And then we're just going to start moving the center in and pressing. Kneading does not have to be a violent affair. Kneading can be very soothing and meditative. You're supposed to knead this until it's smooth and elastic, but this dough is looking a little dry, so I don't want to work any more flour into it. So I'm just going to drop it in my oil bowl, flip it over, I want to coat it with the oil, and I'm just going to put this in the oven with the door closed. No, you don't have to put heat on, but if you if you want it to rise a little quicker, put it, go ahead and put on your oven light. Okay, I didn't realize I had my oven on warm and I've dried the top of this. I hope I haven't killed it because this bowl is quite hot. We're going to punch this down, let it rest for a second. Okay, gosh, I hope I have not destroyed this bread dough. It's, let's hope. But bread's pretty resilient, you know, as long as you don't, you know, kill the yeast. And by this, you can tell the yeast is active. As long as you don't kill the yeast, you should be fine. Now I'm just going to roll this piece up. 
pinch down the ends. Pop that in there. And let's see if we can't make six rolls out of this. Because of the egg and the milk, this is a much more softer dough. So rolls are a lot easier to make. Hi, this is actually my Kaiser dough recipe. So I know it's going to be a lovely soft bread that will uh, do well both for rolls and bread. Oh, this is going to work out just nice, eh? Just roll this out, tie it in a loose knot, just like that. And bring this one forward and poke it down the center. And then pull this one over and poke it down the center. And there we go. And I am just going to lift my folded tablecloth. And set these like this. Why? Because the dough is really warm and I don't want to put them back in that oven. So we're gonna leave these to rise. Okay these are just about ready for the oven but I'm gonna put the bread in first because it's a little heavier dough than the Kaiser's. So I'm gonna put this in for 10 minutes at 375 and after 10 minutes I'm gonna put the rolls in as well. gone off and look at that now I'm just going to leave these in the pans and I'm just going to cover this over because I want soft tops not crusty if you want your rolls and your bread to be crusty leave them cool to the air but this way the it will retain some of the moisture as it cools down and it will keep the tops soft this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you wanted to see me make bread, there it is. You got bread and Kaisers. Have a great day. Take care. God bless.